people want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here at Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this page, please hit that follow button and turn on all your notification bells. I said if you're new to this page, hit that follow button and turn on all your notification bells so that you can get this breaking news stories as we drop them. If you have any special request videos that you want me to do or celebrities you want me to do a video on or YouTube you want me to do a video on, or a particular topic you want me to drop some understanding on. There's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. Let's go. All right, so people, let me tell you something. Uh, so yesterday, well, day before yesterday, um, Megan Thee Stallion was, um, I guess Tyra Banks got a talk show or something. I don't know. They was in a hot tub. You know what I'm saying? And why would Tyra Banks even have a show or something called a hot tub? It's kind of sign. It kind of reminds me of uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, the Red Table Talk. We know red means blood sacrifice, so we know that everybody who comes on the Red Table Talk, they have an upcoming sacrifice coming. We know that. And as well as, you know what I'm saying, you got Tyra Banks and her hot tub. We know that, you know what I'm saying, Winnie Houston died in a tub. We know that Winnie Houston's daughter died in a tub. We know that, um, what's his name, um, Tupac, you know what I'm saying, was somewhat in a tub, bucket naked. In jewelry, somewhat, you know what I'm saying, you can symbolize that as a tub. Okay, we know all that. We know that Beyonce's song, uh, uh, Fill the Tub Up Halfway, Riding With My Surfboard, we know that was a ritual being said, being spoken by Beyonce. We know that. So when I see this, you know what I'm saying, Be uh, when I see this, Megan the Manhood, and you know what I'm saying, and Tyra Banks on the hot tub, and with Tyra Banks being fully clothed, and Megan the Stallion once again in the nude, I don't know, something's about, it's something about Megan the Stallion and Megan the Stallion being in the nude, because, you know what I'm saying, I think Megan the Stallion loved to be in the nude, because when she so-called got shot in both of her hoofs, you know what I'm saying, and the LAPD, you know what I'm saying, well, had the guns drawn and was uh, directing uh, Tori Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion to come out of the SUV. If you pay attention to that video, you know what I'm saying, when Tori Lanez came out the SUV, he was fully clothed. You can tell he was fully clothed because he had nothing blurring him. It was nothing to blur. So he was fully clothed. you seen he was fully clothed. But when Megan Thee Stallion came out of the SUV, she was blurred from her neck down. Now, in order for a person to be blurred from the neck down to be shown on national TV, you got to be burnt naked because that is called censorship. You know what I'm saying? They got to censor you from the neck down because you cannot be nude on public television like that. So that's why. She was blurred, but it seemed like she happened to be nude, you know what I'm saying, and then in a hot tub. And then not only is she in a hot tub nude, she was talking about her mama. And her mama used to be a rapper. And her mama, she telling her mama that she was, uh, uh, she's a rapper. And she said, you know, and her mama said, what, you doing this? You're not coming out until you're 21. How old did um, Megan Thee Stallion, how old was Megan Thee Stallion when she came out with her first song? You know what I'm saying? I mean, some things is just, just tells on themselves. You know what I'm saying? And I told you long ago that, you know what I'm saying, this whore bag, you know what I'm saying, to sacrifice her mama for her success. You know what I'm saying? And now she's talking about her mama. You know, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you like this. The last thing you want to do is talk about 
your mama on any public platform. That should be something that is very sacred. You understand? You know what I'm saying? That should be something that's very sacred. You know what I'm saying? It's for, for anybody to, you know what I'm saying, to talk, if you love your mother like that, you know what I'm saying? That should be something between you and your mother. You know what I'm saying? Because they said her mama was a rapper. I don't know. I never heard of her. She must have been an underground rapper or something. But you know what I'm saying? But we had Megan Thee Stallion, a pop, a national rapper. A rapper who have signed that contract on a label called 1501. I tell you, this is something else, people. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Megan Thee Stallion sitting there, you know what I'm saying? Discussing her sacrifice, and they, you know what I'm saying? And this is this is what these rappers do. They, you know what I'm saying? They hide the truth in plain sight. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that you people are so dumbed down that you people won't even catch on to what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? But all praises be to the most high that Pastor Michael Smith is here to give you this truth, to decipher through the symbolic speakings of Megan Thee Stallion, the symbolic speakings of Tyra Banks. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is news. Tyra Banks, you know what I'm saying, speaks about her sacrifice in a hot tub. You know what I'm saying? With Tyra Banks. You know, see, this is just this is no different than you going uh, a celebrity going on. Um, th th uh, what's the name of uh, Jada Pinkett Smith? The Red Table Talk. You know, say people go on the Red Table Talk to do the same thing they do on Tyra Banks, the um, the hot tub. And you know what this tells me? This tells me that the the Tyra Banks uh, has position. Like Jada Pinkett Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith has position. I'm not. I won't say she's a gatekeeper, but she has a certain position. That's why she has a a a, 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 a show called the Red Table Talk, and Tyra Banks has a position. And her position is called the hot tub. But anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here at Illuminati Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this page, please hit that follow button and turn on all your notification bells. I said please hit that follow button and turn on all your notification bells so that you won't miss out on any breaking news stories as we drop it. Don't forget, if you have any special request videos that you want me to do, you know what I'm saying, a YouTuber you want me to do a video on, a celebrity you want me to do a video on, or a particular topic you want me to drop some understanding on, it's a small donation of $5.00. The donation link in the description box below. Let's go!